America, 1854, the issue of slavery was tearing the nation apart. A new political force emerged, the Republican Party. This wasn't just another political party. They wanted to stop the spread of slavery. They believed in freedom and equality for all. The country was divided. Many people supported slavery. They benefited from it, but the Republicans wouldn't back down. They knew slavery was wrong. They were determined to fight for what they believed in. The Republican Party was a coalition of different groups. Abolitionists, former Whigs, and anti-slavery Democrats came together. They found common ground in their opposition to slavery. These men were not afraid of a fight. They were ready to challenge the status quo. Little did they know they were about to make history. The Republican Party was founded on the principle of freedom. The year 1860 was a turning point. The Republican Party nominated Abraham Lincoln for president. Lincoln was a powerful voice against slavery. He believed in a united nation free from the stain of slavery. His nomination sent shockwaves through the country. The South was furious. They saw Lincoln as a threat to their way of life. Lincoln's election was a victory for the Republicans, but it came at a price. The Southern states seceded from the Union. The Civil War began. The nation was divided. Brother fought against brother. The very existence of the United States was at stake. The Republican Party led the Union through the Civil War. They fought to preserve the Union and abolish slavery. It was a long and bloody conflict, but in the end, the Union prevailed. Slavery was abolished, the nation was reunited. The Civil War was over, slavery was abolished, but the journey was far from over. The nation was in ruins, the South lay devastated. The task of rebuilding the country fell upon the shoulders of the Republican Party. It was a daunting task, but they faced it with the same determination they had shown during the war. Reconstruction was a time of great upheaval. The Republicans faced fierce resistance from the defeated South. They were determined to rebuild the South in their own image. They wanted to ensure that former slaves had equal rights. They passed laws and amendments to the Constitution. They aimed to create a more just and equitable society. Despite the challenges, the Republicans made significant progress. They rebuilt the South's infrastructure. They established public education systems. The Republican Party faced internal divisions during Reconstruction. Some Republicans, known as Radical Republicans, advocated for more drastic measures. They wanted to punish the South for the war. They pushed for full civil rights for African Americans. Others favored a more lenient approach. These internal struggles reflected the complexities of the era. The nation was still healing from the wounds of war. Despite these challenges, the Republican Party remained committed to its core principles. They believed in manifest destiny, the idea that America had a God-given right to expand its territory. They encouraged settlement in the West. They supported the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. These actions helped to shape the destiny of the nation. The late 19th century saw rapid industrialization in America. Cities grew at an astonishing rate. New technologies emerged. The Republican Party embraced this progress. They saw it as an opportunity to make America a global power. The Republican Party was closely aligned with the interests of big business. They believed that what was good for business was good for America. They supported policies that favored corporations. They argued that these policies would create jobs and prosperity for all. This period also saw the rise of labor unions, Workers began to organize and demand better working conditions. The Republican Party was initially wary of unions. However, they eventually came to recognize the importance of protecting workers' rights. They sought to create a society where everyone had the chance to succeed. The 20th century dawned bright. The Republican Party was riding high. They had seen the nation through tough times, but America, was changing. New challenges emerged. The Republican Party knew it had to adapt to stay relevant. Industrialization had brought prosperity. 
but it also created new problems. Cities were crowded, working conditions were often dangerous, wealth was concentrated in the hands of a few. People started to demand change. They wanted the government to play a more active role in solving these problems. The Republican Party found itself at a crossroads. Some clung to the old ways, others saw the need for a new approach. No figure embodied this new republicanism better than Theodore Roosevelt. He was a man of action, a larger-than-life figure who believed in using the power of the presidency to fight for the common man. He became president in 1901 after the assassination of William McKinley. Roosevelt believed in a square deal for all Americans. He went after big business, breaking up monopolies he felt were harming competition. He called these monopolies trusts, and his efforts to break them up earned him the nickname Trust Buster. But Roosevelt wasn't just about busting trusts. He was also a passionate conservationist. He believed in protecting America's natural beauty for future generations. He created national parks, forests, and wildlife refuges. Roosevelt's presidency was a turning point for the Republican Party. He set the stage for a new era of Republican leadership. The early 20th century was a time of great upheaval in the world. World War I erupted in Europe in 1914. The United States initially tried to stay neutral, but the sinking of American ships by German submarines and the threat to democracy in Europe made it impossible to remain on the sidelines. In 1917, under the leadership of Democratic President Woodrow Wilson, the United States entered the war on the side of the Allies. The Republican Party, despite some initial opposition, largely supported the war effort. They believed in defending democracy and freedom abroad. After the war, the Republican Party returned to power. The 1920s were a time of economic prosperity and Republican dominance. Presidents Warren G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge and Herbert Hoover all presided over an era of booming business technological innovation and a return to normalcy. However, the good times would not last. The stock market crash of 1929 plunged the nation into the Great Depression. The Great Depression hit America like a runaway truck. People lost their jobs, banks closed, farmers lost their land. It was the toughest time America had ever faced. The Republican Party, used to good times, struggled to find answers. President Hoover, a Republican, believed in limited government. He thought the economy would fix itself. He urged patience and self-reliance, but the situation only got worse. People were desperate. They needed help. Hoover's approach wasn't working. In 1932, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, a Democrat, was elected president. He promised a new deal for the American people. The New Deal was a series of programs designed to provide relief, recovery and reform. While America grappled with the Depression, a new threat was emerging overseas. In Europe and Asia, aggressive dictators were gaining power. Adolf Hitler in Germany and Emperor Hirohito in Japan threatened world peace. Their expansionist ambitions plunged the world into chaos. World War II began in 1939, when Germany invaded Poland. The United States initially tried to remain neutral, but the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941 by Japan forced America's hand. President Roosevelt, with the support of a united nation, declared war on Japan and Germany. The Republican Party, despite its reservations about Roosevelt's domestic policies, fully supported the war effort. They understood the gravity of the threat posed by fascism. World War II ended in 1945 with the defeat of the Axis powers. America emerged from the war as a global superpower. But the victory came at a cost. Millions had died and the world was forever changed. A new challenge emerged, the Cold War. The Cold War was a tense standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union. It was an ideological battle between democracy and communism, capitalism and socialism. 
The Republican Party, with its strong anti-communist stance, played a central role in shaping America's Cold War policies. In 1952, Dwight D. Eisenhower, a war hero and Republican, was elected president. Ike, as he was popularly known, brought a steady hand to the helm. He oversaw a period of economic prosperity and relative peace. The 1950s became known as the Eisenhower era. The 1960s were a time of turmoil and change. The civil rights movement was in full swing. The Vietnam War divided the nation. The old order was being challenged on all fronts. The Republican Party found itself at a crossroads. The party was split between moderates and conservatives. The moderates, like President Richard Nixon, believed in a pragmatic approach to governing. They were willing to compromise with Democrats on some issues. The conservatives, on the other hand, were becoming increasingly disillusioned with the direction of the country. These conservatives felt that the government had become too big, too intrusive and too liberal. They found a champion in Ronald Reagan, a former Hollywood actor and governor of California. Reagan's message resonated with millions of Americans who felt that the country was on the wrong track. In 1980, Ronald Reagan was elected president in a landslide victory. His election marked a turning point in American politics. It was the beginning of the Reagan Revolution, a period of conservative resurgence that would have a profound and lasting impact on the country. Reagan's presidency was defined by his belief in limited government, free markets, and a strong national defense. He cut taxes, reduced regulations, and appointed conservative judges to the Supreme Court. He also took a hard line against the Soviet Union, calling it the evil empire and vowing to win the Cold War. Reagan's economic policies, known as Reaganomics, were based on the theory of supply-side economics. He believed that cutting taxes, especially for businesses and wealthy individuals, would stimulate economic growth. Reagan's policies were controversial. However, Reagan remained popular throughout his presidency. Morning in America, a time of optimism and change. Reagan's presidency was a time of both optimism and change. He restored a sense of national pride and purpose after the turmoil of the 60s and 70s. He also oversaw the end of the Cold War, which many credit to his tough stance against the Soviet Union. Reagan's legacy is complex and contested. His supporters view him as one of the greatest presidents in American history, a visionary leader who restored America's standing in the world and ushered in an era of prosperity. His critics argue that his policies exacerbated income inequality, undermined social programs and contributed to the national debt. Regardless of one's views on Reagan's legacy, there is no doubt that he was a transformative figure in American politics. He redefined the Republican Party, shifting it to the right and making it the party of limited government, free markets and social conservatism. His influence can still be felt today in the Republican Party and in American politics more broadly. A new millennium, a party divided. The dawn of the 21st century brought new challenges and new divisions within the Republican Party. The terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 fundamentally reshaped America's role in the world. George W. Bush's presidency became dominated by the war on terror with the invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq becoming defining events. However, the wars proved costly, sparking intense debate within the Republican Party. The rise of the Tea Party movement reflected growing dissatisfaction with the party establishment. Shifting sands, navigating the 21st century. Barack Obama's 2008 election marked a watershed moment in American politics. His victory, driven by a diverse coalition, signaled a demographic shift. The Republican Party struggled to adapt to this new electorate. They opposed Obama's policies, especially the Affordable Care Act. Trump's 2016 election exposed deep divisions within the party. He tapped into voter frustration with globalization and cultural change. Trump's presidency deepened partisan divides and controversy. 
The Republican Party grappled with its identity in a changing world. The road ahead, challenges and opportunities. The Republican Party stands at a crossroads, forged in the fires of upheaval, from fighting slavery to shaping American life. The road ahead is uncertain. The political landscape is changing. Old certainties are gone. The world is more complex. Issues are more nuanced. The Republican Party must adapt, appeal to a broader range of Americans. Can it find its footing in this new era? Can it bridge its divides? The future of the Republican Party is unwritten.